Congratulations on being named as the 2019 recipient of the special award by the Hoisington Chamber of Commerce. Can you each introduce yourselves, name and where do you work? I'm Dolores Kepikota, Enforcement Officer and Animal Control Officer for the City of Hoisington, and this is my sweetheart, Samson. I'm Carla Christman with Clara Barton Hospital and Clinics. And I'm Jonathan Mitchell with the City of Hoisington. Thank you. Jonathan, who has partnered with the City on the enhancements at Bicentennial Park? Well, there are far too many people to mention all of them, but we are really fortunate to have the number of partners we have working together in our community to improve our recreational infrastructure. Um, some of the, the key leaders and drivers of the projects at Bicentennial Park are the Hoisington Recreation Commission, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, Golden Bell Community Foundation, and the Clara Barton Hospital and Clinics. Um, all of these folks have played a huge role in really driving the enhancements out there at the park. With their help and the assistance of so many partners and donors, our park will continue to develop into one of our region's premier parks. Um, our community is really fortunate to have a generous group of companies and individuals that are willing to share their time and talents to improve this park. And since 2019, we've seen the addition of a couple pickleball courts. We've seen some major improvements to our ball fields. Bicentennial uh, Park has also seen the installation of a dog park. And uh, soon we will see the installation of a nine hole disc golf course to replace the existing course. Um, some other things we're looking forward to on the horizon are the potential of a bike share program and increased accessibility to our walking trail. So really, it's an exciting time to be here in Hoisington. I'm grateful to be a part of this generous community. And I really think that amazing things can happen when people work together. And I really look forward to seeing what the future holds for our community. Wonderful. Carla, why do you think it's important for Clara Barton to be part of projects like this one? Well, Clara Barton Hospital and Clinics and the Health for Life Coalition have been involved in several of the projects down at Bicentennial Park, really because we want to support and create a culture of health and wellness in our community. To me, that means making it easy to live a healthy life where we live, work, and play. Our city parks are a vital component to healthy living. If we can improve and create spaces that are safe, that are easy to access, and that are check full of physical and social activities like the walking trail, the ball fields, the pickleball courts, disc golf, biking, and our dog parks where we can take our furry friends for a little bit of exercise, then we've succeeded in creating that sustainable environment that makes the healthy choice the easy choice. That is so exciting to me. We all want to live in a community that is thriving and healthy and by investing in these types of projects, we are all making that happen. That's great. Dolores, can you tell us about the dog park and why you believe it's important for Hoisington? Uh, Central Park is located on the northwest side of Bicentennial Park, right next to the roadway in, which is our pet-friendly hotel here in Hoisington. Uh, Central Park has a large and a small dog area with several obstacles, a doggy water station, and a mini shelter, yet spacious enough for dogs to fetch, fall, or just to run safely in the fenced-in area. Um, years ago, there was community interest in a dog park, but uh, nothing came of it until we came across grand opportunities to improve and encourage physical activity. This one is a no-brainer. Exercise is good for us all. It provides many health benefits that include keeping your pet healthy, agile, and limber. An overweight pet is not a healthy <laughs> pet. <laughs> Samson is well overweight right now. Um, regular walks, as well as other forms of exercise, can help reduce or eliminate any of your pet's destructive behavior, such as chewing, digging, or scratching. Pets are like children. If you're not going to give them something constructive to do, you may not like what they choose to do. Spending time with your pet is extremely important to strengthen your bond and it leads to a strong and trusting relationship. Um, our team is extremely proud of Central Bark, which couldn't have happened without all the support from donors 
and our enthusiastic city workers who trenched, hauled dirt, built and installed the obstacles and maintained Central Park. They were awesome. That's great. Again, I want to thank you all and congratulate you on being named the 2019 recipient of the special award by the Hoisington Chamber of Commerce. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.